Hello and welcome to the Cozy Corner. Today, we're playing Night in the Woods, which I've been looking forward to for quite a while. I'm excited to get into this. Um, there are two supplementals that came out before this that they put out as, you know, to get you excited for the game. If you want, I have them in the playlist. If not, let's get started. This is the Cozy Corner. In the year Granddad died, the highway extension came. We had the worst flood since 1998. Greg got trapped on top of a doghouse. The power was out for two days. Casey Hartley came by in his dad's boat, and I laughed when I saw him. Granddad left me an apple crate of books. He loved ghost stories and quoted them to himself in the hospital bed. They went looking for the gods and died in lonely places. On his last day, he sat up suddenly and stared bug-eyed through the window. at the old trains, rattling to somewhere else, from somewhere else. He turned to my dad, eyes still wide. This house is haunted, he said, and died. Well, this is great. Someone will be here. Welcome home, May. Ooh. Wow, when did they put this up? Possum Springs has never looked more falsely advertised. It'd be cool to call my parents. Fiasco Fox, you are too dreamy. Woo! I'm back to Garbo and Malloy. It's in the news today, Malloy. Markets were up today. Way up. Ooh, 1500. Mostly in the chart sector. Truly giving lover. <laughs> Brush Valley, seven to ten every hour. Fort Lucerne, Stanton Town, Bright Harbor. Ten forty five, it's closed. Just you. Closed.
Nope, just broke the damn thing. Right after you go grab me a Fiesca Cola from the machine. <laughs> Boom. Oh wait, I can shake up the can, can't I? Ten bucks says it's gonna explode. Well, shit. Yummers. <laughs> This game looks so goddamn good. Right outside town, mom and dad, nowhere to be found. Dark and cold, guess I'm walking alone. First or last impression. the woods is home, my bed, and my negligent parents. Whew, that's a drop. This is some dank nature, dank nature and garbage. Log load at some point. Haunting everywhere else. Class of ninety nine. thing oh my god that was dangerous <laughs> that was amazing man this color scheme is so goddamn my favorite. Comfy as shit. Some sort of boat castle.
I definitely remember barely growing since then. The number logs mocked me. It was a log people alliance. So I was doing. I can get this. Come on. Two, three. So it's like one, two, three. Okay, so that's how you do it. Dirt possums, night snakes, mystery beasts of all shapes. So much trouble right there. I feel like an idiot because I can do it any other spot. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Not in this playground. Possum Springs, I mean. This is all getting jumbled. I should write it down. Rip Granddad. Your parents forgot you. Ah, oh, I didn't- I thought the resolution was set. Oh, that looks better. cute as hell. Hello, May. Been a while. <laughs> in the very off-limits playground. No. <laughs> Bless this mess. Hey, remember me? Good. You thought wrong. Cops, I'm going to bed. 
Is my bed still here? Good night. Dad looks older. Nightlight. This isn't my room. This clock, the trunk in the storage room. And whatever's buried under the house after the cement incident. <laughs> All right. Took me a second to realize what that was. Which dagger? Sacred youth. <laughs> All right, let's see what the daytime looks like. How is the bird still alive? How, why do the cats have a bird? <laughs> comes to Wigglesbury, the fancy corpse, Helmol Stevenson, Necropus, Book the First, Lady Shark, the Stoked on Gallows Hill, Mom has all of her grisly books about creepy crimes and sad children on a creepy sad shelf in their room. Oh, it looks like one of the books, well, it looks like one of Mom's books made it out here. And we even ate the horses. <laughs> One family's horrifying farm life in the 1880s. Jeez, Mom. Well, look, some of Dad's books got in here. Finches of North America. World of Titmice. <laughs> the Complete Grackle. <laughs> a three-volume set. Owls are awesome. Treacherous cranes. The hell is a grackle? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. I think there's gonna be anything in here. Let's double check. Yep. Okay. Man, I'm so happy to be playing this game. Fuck any uh non-bias. I'm not. Well, I guess I never pretended to be non-biased. This game's got a lot of uh, key points for me. Good-looking art. Good animation from a, like a legit animator. Funny writing down-to-earth, reasonable writing, you know? At least from the things I've played that they used to get you ready for this. 
Oh, and good music, too. <laughs> Just hop on the counter. Hi, Mom. Welcome home, sweetie. Thanks for not changing the locks. Yeah, what do you mean? You wouldn't happen to know where Greg is, would you? Greg's working down at the snack fa the snack falcon. Up in town, central west by the click clack. Holy shit, these store names are stupid. Oh yeah, it's so handy. You know, ever since the food donkey went out, <laughs> the food donkey is gone. Everybody goes out to the ham panther. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> these these store names. The food donkey's gone. We have a snack falcon. It's a whole new world, sweetie. Yes, it is. Wouldn't be falling possum strings about loads of construction, man. I uh, I get that. That's for sure. It's so festive, honey. I'll be back later. Yeah, I definitely get that construction thing. What's up, mom? Mrs. Krangler died. Who? She taught your Girl Scout group how to dance. Oh wow, she was pretty old then too. Oh, she was ancient, honey. She was ancient when I was your age. How did she die? From being ancient. <laughs> 115. Fuck. <laughs> Anything else? Well, boy, it's a true story about a boy who grew up in a well. His parents didn't want him, so they threw him in a well. And he was raised by eels. In a well. Eels. Eels, honey. Eels. <laughs> 